Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4, and today you're going to be briefed on SCP-019. Congratulations on your new assignment. Let's begin. Item number SCP-019, Object Class Keter, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-019 is to be kept in a wide grate in a 3 meter by 3 meter by 4 meter reinforced concrete room, installed with an incinerator. Room is to be kept at zero degrees Celsius when incinerator is not activated. An observation chamber separated by a plate glass window is to be used for constant observation of SCP-019, and if or when specimens of SCP-019-2 are observed, the incinerator is to be activated. In the event of an outbreak of SCP-019-2, ordinary firearms are successful in terminating individual specimens, although in the case of a swarm Level outbreak, flamethrowers may be more effective. SCP-019 should be kept in a vertical position at all times. Description. SCP-019 appears to be a very large ceramic vase, 1.8 meters in diameter at the mouth and 2.4 meters high. Style and decoration indicate it was created in classical Greece, although conclusive dating is impossible as the surface is entirely unbreakable by any known means. If a successful method is discovered, SCP-019 is to be destroyed with prejudice. Periodically, entities emerge from SCP-019. Collectively, these are known as SCP-019-2. The entities vary in many aspects, but tend to be small, vaguely humanoid, though they may have animaloid features, and extremely hostile. They often choose to attack with teeth or claws. Although fairly delicate, also surprisingly flammable, they are reasonably strong and pose a considerable threat in large numbers. When kept at zero degrees Celsius and totally at rest, entities will emerge from SCP-019 at a rate of approximately one entity per hour. The following traits are known to affect SCP-019-TAC-2's manifestation rate. Movement of SCP-019, threat to SCP-019, Extreme temperature, highs and lows, sudden shift in surrounding environment, introduction of objects or organisms to the inside of SCP-019, known to cause a flood reaction, traits that may or may not influence SCP-019-TAC-2's manifestation rate, presence of human life near SCP-019, current weather patterns, specific individuals near SCP-019. Some individuals seem to affect SCP-019-TAC-2's emergence rate more drastically than others. In addition, tipping or tilting SCP-019 will create a reaction as though it was previously filled with SCP-019-TAC-2 specimens, although viewers looking into SCP-019 from above will merely observe a dark hole. Due to the production rates of SCP-019-TAC-2, when the object is disturbed, Measurement of the internal cavity is difficult, but it is suspected to be inconsistent with outside measurements. Uh, basically meaning larger on the inside than it is on the outside. Addendum. Document SCP-019-TAC-2-Alpha. SCP-019-TAC-2 notes as maintained by Dr. Light and Dr. Vo. Uh, date is redacted. SCP-019-TAC-2 specimen was removed from containment chamber and kept in reinforced pen, provided with water and live chickens as food. Specimen made quiet, continuous garbled vocalizations, determined to be phonetically similar to ancient Hellenic languages. Although the reason for this is unknown, specimens are still thought to be no more intelligent than animals. The specimen lived for less than 48 hours, and a dissection revealed anatomy consistent on a cellular level with normal biology, but with an extremely unstable musculoskeletal structure. Other notable anomalies included an unstable respiratory system, nearly non-existent digestive tract, and virtually no other internal organs. So, I wonder why we were feeding chickens, huh? <laughs> All other captured specimens have followed similar patterns of behavior and demise. Note, it appears that SCP-019-TAC-2 specimens were not intended to live for meaningful amounts of time outside of SCP-019. Dr. Vo. Date redacted. 
Containment unit was slightly damaged following prolonged exposure to SCP-019 TAC-2 specimen, missed by the monitoring team because of partial transparency. This has not been noted in SCP-019 TAC-2 before. Monitoring teams will continue to report further anomalies. Date redacted. Monitoring teams report some specimens of SCP-019 TAC-2 now appear to be significantly more resistant to incineration than others. It is hypothesized that this is a defense mechanism on the part of SCP-019. Date redacted. Most specimens of SCP-019 are now all but entirely resistant to the effects of the incinerator. Replacement of incinerator with an acid bath is being considered. Evolution of SCP-019 TAC-2 is being studied and may be evidence of sentience in SCP-019. And that concludes your briefing on SCP-019. This is one of the rare objects that the Foundation actually does intend to destroy as soon as we can because uh, the threat that it poses is too high to be able to actually contain. We have confidence in your abilities to provide adequate research and containment to this object. Uh, remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they can live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.